everyone, I am Shuparna Dash, uh, B.A. training of Shilukri Tarai B.A. College. Today I am going to give you a basic overview about tenses. A verb tenses tell us how an action is relatable to the flow of time. There are three main verb tenses in English, present, past, future. The present tense, uh, past tense and future tenses are divided into four aspects the simple continuous perfect and perfect continuous like simple present tense present continuous present perfect present perfect continuous and in com cont uh, in uh, past tense also uh, simple past past continuous past perfect and past perfect continuous similarly in future tense simple future future continuous future perfect and future perfect continuous so the first tense is present tense so what's the rule of present tense um, i will show you in the picture so um, i have already told that um, the first tense is present tense so what is the rule of present tense i have written here simple um, uh, in simple present tense we have to use subject then verb and object so we use uh, present simple when i uh, we are talking about habits and um, like um, routine and when uh, we will talking about facts for example i play football every day here um this is a routine that plays football every day so we are when we are talking about a fact like the earth moves uh, around the sun this is the facts when we will uh, talking about facts we have to use simple present tense okay and another example when we are talking about a fact that she works as a trainee that's a fact about her life so we can see a, um, a difference that we are using is here but here we are not using is like uh, when we are talking about I play football we can't use is but when we will um, say that she, he uh, plays football so when we will uh, we say that he she or it we we always use s or es but when we use i we uh, you they we can't use s or es with verb okay next is um, present continuous tense so the rule of the present continuous tense is subject M is R, uh, then verb, and with verb we have to use ing, like play, playing. So how do you, uh, how do we get to know that uh, where do we use um, M is R? Uh, it's very simple. With I we have to use M, with he we have to use is, and with you, you, we, they we have to use R. I'm showing you in the picture here is the rule of present continuous tense here I use um, I have written here that uh, the rule of the present continuous tense is subject then M is R then we have to use uh, ing with verb so uh, we can see that we use with I, I am we have to use he she it uh, is like he is she is and uh, you are we are they are so um, present continuous tense is used when we are talking about the action which are happening right now or uh, we are speaking right now or uh, which is happening now like example they are having lunch so we have we are using uh, are with they and i am singing at church today so that we can uh, like we ha we are using uh, ing with verb like sing singing have having okay changes 
taking place now like uh, the stocks are dropping constantly due to the uh, economy okay here also we use uh, ing with drop drop is a verb and we use dropping okay so next is present uh, perfect tense so uh, the rule for present perfect tense is subject have or has and verb and with that we use past participle or the third form of verb so with i you we they we use have and with he she it we use has so the present perfect is used when we are talking about ex experience when we are talking about recent actions and events for example she has watched that show three times this week again i am repeating um she has watched that show three times this week so in uh, in pre present perfect is used when we are talking about experience so this is the experience offered during her week another experience he has drunk tea this is the recent action okay so the next is present perfect continuous tense you can you can see that uh, next is present perfect continuous tense so in present perfect continuous tense we use when we are talking about actions that started in past and are still continuing and the rule for it subject have has with have or has we have to use been like has been or have been then first of uh, verb like first form of verb and with that we have to use ing for example it has been raining since 4 am and another example is he is been playing football since he was a child so this is the action which started in the past and it is still going on uh, so the next uh, we will learn about past tense first is simple past when we are talking about uh, completed action in the past and the rule for it is subject verb and we use the second form of verb and object so the example i have written here you can see that he played violin he played violin we use verb to okay so we have uh, like we have to remember that uh, with irregular word there are no rules for making them in their past form for example come eat go uh, we can't add uh, the word with ed we do not write uh, eat it c o m e d no we can't use it okay so we use some sentences like he came yesterday he ate an apple he spoke in uh, hindi um, in in this sentences uh, these are the sentences where we use verb to like ate spoke um, and uh, he danced Uh, in the stage so we can use this kind of sentences from uh, when we use when are when we are writing in past tense okay next we will learn about past continuous tense and then we will learn about past perfect and past perfect continuous tense so in past perfect uh, past continuous tense we use when uh, when we use past uh, perfect tense sorry past continuous tense when we are talking about an unfinished ongoing action in the past and with that there is also mentioned of unfinished work like um and the rule for it subject uh, was or were and uh, verb and with verb we have to use ing okay i'm showing in the picture 
So we use some sentences like he came yesterday, he ate an apple, he spoke in uh, Hindi. Um, in in these sentences, uh, these are the sentences where we use verb to like ate, spoke, um, and uh, he danced. Uh, in the stage so we can use this kind of sentences from uh, when we use when are when we are writing in past tense okay next we will learn about past continuous tense and then we will learn about past perfect and past perfect continuous tense so in past perfect uh, past continuous tense we use when uh, when we use past uh, perfect tense sorry past continuous tense when we are talking about an unfinished ongoing action in the past and with that there is also mentioned of unfinished work like um and the rule for it subject uh, was or were and uh, verb and with verb we have to use ing okay i'm showing in the picture so you can see here that uh, in past continuous tense when we are talking about an unfinished ongoing action in the past and with that uh, there is also mentioned a finished action and the rule for it uh, subject was or were and uh, in verb we use with verb we use ing okay like example when the phone rang she was writing a letter you can see here that um, so how do we get to know about that where we use um, was or where it's very simple when i he she it we have to use was and with you we they we have to use where okay so there is uh, two example i have written here um, when the phone rang, she was writing a letter and the next uh, example is we were sitting outside while the plants were flying overhead. Okay, so this is all about past continuous. Students, today we have learned about present tense and past tense and past tense uh, is not completed yet. The in the next video, I will upload um, the about past perfect, past perfect continuous tense and about future tense. Okay. Uh, so, thank you very much.